In this segment, we're going to talk about both the cover letter and the prospectus letter and the differences between the two. Your cover letter is your chance to make a great first impression and to further personalize the information that's contained in your resume. This is your chance to present your goals, your qualifications, and availability to a prospective employer in a very clean, appealing, and succinct format. You can refer to the major highlights in your resume as well as explain any gaps in employment, but never include negative information in your cover letter and never badmouth former employers. If you found yourself in a situation where your employment was terminated and you use this time to go back to school in preparation for a career change, this would be the place to mention that you have these new skills. So let me give you some cover letter tips. Address your cover letter to a specific person. Do some research to find the name of the hiring manager or the person doing the research. Customize your cover letter to the particular job to which you're applying. Do your homework. What do you like about the company? How will you fit in? Show your desire and abilities. Do not repeat your resume. Highlight, but don't repeat. Be sure to use spell check and grammar check. A traditional look is best. Use an easy to read typeface, 10 point or above, and close the letter with sincerely, sincerely yours or cordially, and then don't forget to sign it. Now let's talk about the prospectus letter. If you call and you ask the human resource department what jobs are available, you will get a clear, concise response outlining the jobs that are available and nothing more. Human resources will only get involved when an actual identified job exists. The primary objective of a department manager has always been to grow profitable business and find ways to improve systems and processes. If a qualified candidate comes along who can help them achieve their initiatives, they may take the time to meet with those people and, if they're compelling, will hire them. So how do you do it? Simple. Do not send your resume. Instead, send a brief prospectus to the president, the VP, or department manager of the company and sell them on the idea of meeting with you. The three things that will attract them to an employee or prospective employee are those three A's, attitude, aptitude, and appetite. Receiving a prospectus like this is a way for the prospective employee to demonstrate all of these factors. Take some time to look at all of the information on the company website. Look at competitive websites and talk to people in the organization. Use your experience to provide insights. Explain in your letter what your skills and abilities are and how you can contribute to the success of the organization. Then, do not email it. An email can be deleted too quickly. Send this by express mail, by standard mail in a 9x12 envelope, or deliver it in person. Make it look as important to them as it is to you. When you're sending out a prospectus letter, you're creating your own position. This position is one that has not been posted and the Human Resources Department doesn't know about it, so there's no competition. 